Uh, good evening to you all. I welcome you once again to our virtual teaching today. Now today we are looking at what well, this would be our last um, civilization that we will look at. And I am happy to announce to you that we will bring all the civilizations to an end. Today we are looking at our own people, the civilization and cultures of the West African forest and coastal states. I repeat, the West African forest and coastal states. Now remember that in our previous discussion, before this one, we looked at the West African Sudanese states. Now these are two different people. The West African Sudanese states were mostly found in the Sahara of West Africa, that is Burkina Faso and beyond, that is above Burkina Faso. We are looking at West African forest and coastal states. So here we are coming down to our area here, that is Ghana, the coast of West Africa, the, the kingdoms that emerge along the coast of West Africa and in the forest of West Africa. And don't forget that in, 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 in the previous discussion about the Western Sudanese, there was no forest there. They were living in the Sahara. Okay, so basically we are looking at the West African coast, the great, some of the great, great civilizations that emerged along the West African coast and also further in the forest area. So they, specifically we are looking at the general characteristics of the West African forest and coastal states. So all the kingdoms that emerged in the uh, West African coast and in the forest, what were their general characteristics? What would you use to identify them? And quickly, our lesson objectives, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to discuss the general characteristics of the West African states and kingdoms. General, all of them. A general characteristic, something which was common to all of them. You should be able to discuss that. So let's quickly let's quickly take a look at them as we move on. Good. Sorry for that interruption. Now we have here, let's take an introduce ourselves, let us introduce ourselves to these West African states, who were they and can we, of course, identify, are we familiar with some of them. Now the civilization of West African forest and coast uh, refers to the territory between the south end of the Western Sudan, so the south end, so which means now we are done with the Western Sudan, the southern end of the Western Sudan, alright. And the Atlantic seaboard, that is the coastal area. So the territory we are looking at is the southern end. We've come down a step right after Western Sudan. That is what we refer to as the West African Sudanese states. So of course, the area stretches from the Senegambia in the west to the Cameroon in the east. And from the 14th century onwards, the civilization that emerged in this area included those of the Igbo one of the civilization or states that emerged in West African coastal states was the Igbo. They were in Nigeria, Dahomey, they were they are in modern the Republic of Benin, where we have Benin, Mande Taimé, that is in Sierra Leone, the Oyo, the Elbe, and Asante. And these are in modern Ghana. So when you are asked to mention any name, mention any four or five states that emerged or kingdoms that emerged in the West African forest and coastal zone, you can mention the Dahomey, you can mention the Igbo people. Igbo people are in Nigeria, the Dahomey are in Benin today, the Mande Tamil are in Sierra Leone, the Oyo, the Eve, the Asante, you can mention all of them. Am I clear? Now let's take a look at the map so that you will be able to really identify the Western Sudanese um, proper. So quickly, let's zoom the map and go in there and see something. Now we are saying that the West African forest and coastal states refers to the southern end 
okay it refers to the southern end of the western sudanese so the western sudanese that we looked at they were here they were at this place so the western sudanese were here okay we have the tuaregs here we have the Berber nomads over here so the western sudanese were here that is where we have or we had the Asian Ghana and then the Mali Empire, the Songa Empire, and, so, and this is North Africa. Okay, this is North Africa. And the Western Sudanese were at this area. So the southern tip of the Western Sudanese area is what we refer to from here, the southern tip. So this is the Western Sudan. So this is the southern tip. Okay, it's what we refer to as the coastal and forest. Now, from here to the Atlantic or the Gulf of the Atlantic Ocean, that is the coastal state. So this area basically is what we refer to as the forest and coastal state of West Africa. And these were some of the states and kingdoms in there. So you realize we have Dahomey over here. So this is a Dahomey um, state or kingdom. Okay. And then we also have the Mosi states. Which is in Mogadishu. So here is Burkina, around Burkina. So this is Mogadishu. We have the Mosi states. We have the Asante states. Also here. Okay, Asante states. Don't forget that Mati is not a state. If you are asked to mention states or kingdoms that emerged in any civilization, don't mention Kumasi. Right? Kumasi wasn't part. The people, mention the people, the Asante, the Dahomey, alright, the Mosi or the Moshi state. Okay, and this is Timbuktu, the country, the town where the famous University of San Kore was. This is it. Timbuktu. Okay, we have the Madinka state. Alright, we have the Sokoto. So these were some of the the states that emerged. But then you can just you know have in mind that the Dahomey, the Ewe, the all of that, the Ido. But as we move on, you would get to know more of the states that emerge in West Africa. Now let's take a look at the general um, some characteristics of them. One of the general characteristics was language. Language. Okay, the West African coastal states shared certain characteristics. In the first place, it has it has unquestionable, unquestionably been found out that most of the languages of the West African coastal states, namely now the Yoruba is what it will, is one of the languages spoken in, in by the Yorubas. The Nu, the Igbo, the Ga, the Ewe, the Akan and the Kru. All these languages you will find around here evolved from a common parent stock. Right? These languages are referred to as the Kwa language. So the, these languages you see there are referred to as the Kwa language. So we are saying that they share the common, you know, language in the sense that the Yoruba language, the Nuk language, the Igbo language, the Ga language, the Ewe language, the Akan language, as well as the Kru language, all evolved from a common parent stock. So they all came from one source, but probably because of migration, there was there, you know, became slightly differences in them. These languages we refer to all of them as Kwa. Now, again, the West African forest and coastal states also evolved around a central group of people, like that of the Western Sudanese states, as we looked at in our previous discussion. Now, each of these states was built around a hardcore of Kendrick or similar groups. And for instance, the Yoruba, the Yoruba founded the Oyo states. So we have another state that was founded in West Africa, coast, uh, forest and coastal. We call it the Oyo state, and it was founded by the Yoruba people in Nigeria. The Edo speaking people also founded the Kingdom of Benin. So we also have Kingdom of Benin also was founded by the Edo. So Yoruba founded the Oyo state, the Udo also founded the Beni or Kingdom of Benin. And if you go, we call them the 
the Bianda state in Nigeria. So that kingdom, the Edo people have won in Nigeria. And today, the state called the Bianda state, that is where the kingdom of Benin was. The Akan was also founded, oh, I mean, the Akan also founded the Asante kingdom. All right, so Asante kingdom was founded by the Akan. And the Aja founded the Dahomey kingdom. So the Aja people also founded the Dahomey people uh, kingdom. So take notice, like the way we took notice of that of ancient or West African Sudanese states. In West African forest and coastal states, these were the people who founded the various states that you know of. Yoruba founded the Oyo state, the Udo founded the Beni state, the Akan founded the Asante kingdom, and the Aja people founded the Dahomey kingdom. Because they could ask you to mention the group of people who founded the various states, or mention the core group or the nucleus people who founded these states. Quickly, let's take a look at more of their um, characteristics. So, yes, we are saying that one characteristic was that they all, all the states were founded around a core group of people. And another characteristic was the trend of expansion. How these forest and coastal states expanded. That trend is also, you know, somehow general to all of them. These states began as inland states before they gradually moved southward to, to the coast. The, the, the southward expansion was believed to have caused the change over from the Trans-Saharan slave trade, which um, started in the 15th century during the, the Portuguese exploration of West African coast. So you realize that all the states that we have talked about, the Akan, the Oyo, the Dahomey, okay, the, 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 the Benin state, all of them started as inland states. Inland states here means that they started to emerge in the interior. But as a result of the Trans-Saharan slave trade, which started as a result of the coming of the Portuguese to the coast, you realize that if you look at the trend, all of them started to move towards the coast so that they could also uh, take part in the Trans-Saharan trade. So you realize that their trend of expansion was also similar. They all began inland, as the, in the interior, but then with the Trans-Saharan trade at the coast, they started to now expand down to the coastal area to take part in the trade. And so we say that their trend of expansion was also similar. The next one was social stratification. And how these kingdoms or West African kingdoms have divided their class of people. And in West African, among all the West African coastal states and kingdoms, their, their kingdoms were stratified. They had three distinct social groups, namely the ruling class. So they had the ruling class who were there, they were the elite, the chiefs and their people. Then they had the commoners. The commoners were the artisans. Those who, who had jobs to do, the blacksmiths, they were called the freeborn. Freeborn here means they were not slaves. And the large group of people were the domestic slaves or the pounds. Okay, the domestic slaves or the pounds. So these were the three. And, and, and it is surprising that all the West African uh, forest and coastal states had this type of social stratification, whereby the ruling class was at the top. Commoners was uh, down and uh, was next to the people. Then the domestic slaves, those who were in, 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 in people's houses, were at the bottom of the social ladder. And we are saying that this is a general characteristic because it runs through almost all the states that we have, that, uh, all the states of the West African forest and coastal people. Now, quickly, let's take a look at. The last, the last general characteristics of the West African forest and coastal state. Now, political, economic, and social system. They are political, the economic, their social system, we are also saying, are also similar. Their political, economic, and social system were determined by their physical environment. So, for instance, they all practice sedentary agriculture, had centralized political system, created large villages and towns evolved religions, religions, religious system, sorry, it's supposed to be religious systems, and maintain an army. So all of them had 
similar political, social, and economic systems. Okay, so they were all involved in agriculture. They also all had centralized political system, whereby there was a chief or a king who had power over all of them. They also had large, you know, villages and towns. They created large villages and towns like Kumasi and others, right? And they also were able to evolve some sort of religious system. You realize that the Yorubas are very, very religious. They have this religious system that the, the Ashantis also have this kind of religious system. And we are seeing that all these were common to all of them. And they also had armies. The Dahomey had armies, the Ashantis had armies, and all of them were, we are saying that all these things were peculiar or were general to all the West African Sudanese states. So whenever you are asked to talk about, for instance, the territory and characteristics of the West African coastal states, what do you find common to all the West African coastal states? This is what we have discussed and talked about. And I am hopeful that whenever you are asked to talk about any of these characteristics, you will be able to do so. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and then um, also, if you have any questions, you can WhatsApp me 054 2083 047. Have a nice day. Bye.